At the end of this year, there's gonna be like three types of agents. There's gonna be the agents that burn out, done and gone. There's gonna be the agent that's hanging on by a thread. And then you're gonna have the agents that are going to still thrive in this market because of people like Jen and the Wainer Group because it offers you a stability that you will not get as a solo agent. It, it just won't happen. So what I did is I started looking for different avenues to buy leads. And I've tried some of the bigger lead sources in the country. And with that, it, it, it costs a lot of money, but more than the money piece, it just takes a lot of time. I started seeking out uh, real estate teams to join. And that's when I came across um, the Wainer Group and I decided to go interview, had a wonderful interview, and really became a part of the team and took a lot of the team systems and processes and just grinded as, as hard as I could for as long as I could. And I put my head down and all of a sudden I looked up about a year and a half later and I did 45 deals. When I first came in with my in-person interview with the Wainer Group, uh, we went in the office uh, Scott pulled out a spreadsheet. We kind of went over, you know, he asked me, what do you want? What's your dreams? What's your goal? What do you want for 2021? Um, and I said, you know, I want to make $120,000. That would be amazing to me. That would be 10 grand a month. That would like be life changing for me. So he went through the process of what it would take, how many phone calls you have to take, how many conversations you have to have, um, just with their metrics, right? How many how many listing appointments you have to have, how many buyer consultations you have to have, how many offers you have to submit, everything. Like it was all broken down to a, a science. And the funny thing is, is I put in all the effort, I gave myself completely to the process, I tapped into all the like innumerable, innumerable resources that Jen and the team have with weekly training. And so then the first year I made 126,000 it was slightly more than I want, than I even like wanted or thought I could possibly make, you know? And now like, as I get more experience and confidence uh, with the team like this, then the goalposts move, you know what I mean? Then, then the goals get bigger and bigger. Um, and yeah, so after making 126,000 that first year, now by the end of April, year two at the Wainer Group, I'm already gonna make more than that for the year by the end of April. Why would you be a solo agent? I wouldn't. I don't think there's any possible way you could in this market or any other. Uh, you know, I've only been in the business four years, but I can really tell you how lonely it can be when you're a solo agent, because I was there. Um, you know, when I was first writing the transactions for, you know, my coworkers, I didn't know anything. I had one phone number, I had a broker hotline and that's, that was my best friend, right? I was at a brokerage where it was like, you get full commission, but you just hang your license and here's a PowerPoint or two and go do your thing, kid. That's basically uh, all it was. So, and you know, and I, I crashed and burned with like getting like a digital billboard and different things just to try to generate business on my own. And it's hard out there without guidance and someone like Jen and the Wainer group and people giving you the resources and the training and everything. So yeah, there was kind of a inflection point, right? In my real estate career where I'm like, I either need to go back to the nine to five lifestyle that I don't want. I've gotten a taste of with my in-laws family, um, what the entrepreneurial lifestyle, lifestyle, excuse me, could be like. Um, and you know, the life I could live, you know, I got a little peek into that and I, I didn't want to give that up. So yeah, I feel like the universe kind of brought me to Jen's team and then kind of took off from there. Doing things by myself on an island in hell as a solo agent, you get caught up with so many different, like the lead generation or the funnels or the, the SEO, pay-per-clicks, whatever it is. And then I have to go deal with contracts and showings and like my brain's done. Something's turned off and coming over here, it's just, it's made it more fun again. And it's allowed me to, to think bigger, dream more, because you can see what Jen's built, what other agents have built, and then what, you know, again, with these higher producing agents at eXp, it just, you can see that everything is possible if you're willing to put in the work. Being in an industry like real estate, right? There's no cap, but there's also 
no floor. It's 100% commission. So you don't have, you don't have a base salary. You got to get out there and make it happen. Um, and often in industries like that, it could be cutthroat. And then on the other end, there could be a lot of ego, right? Because it's a, it's a glitzy, glamorous industry. Um, but there's really, there's none of that with this team. It's, we're all supporting each other. Yes, I'm motivated. I want to be first on the team badly. But that does not mean that I don't want everybody else to be right there with me. And I truly feel that same energy from everybody on the team. We just want to grow and succeed together. Um, and I feel like I didn't expect that in real estate, you know, because you're kind of told that that's not the way it is. And it's oftentimes it's not. Even with Jen, with kind of the, the mindset that exists with this group, you know, I told her for year two, hey, I want to make $400,000 this year. Some people might be like, ah, you know, you made 125, that's a big jump, I don't know, let's temper your expectations, but that's not how Jen is. Jen's like, okay, well, how are we gonna get you there? I would say the first thing that I would do joining a team is talk to three or four other agents that are on the team and ask them why. Why are you here? Why have you been here for so long? What makes you stay? What do you love about this team? When's the last time you went to your team lead's house? When's the last time you sat down and you had a conversation with two or three people on your team not about real estate? Uh, when's the last time you were comfortable enough to have one of your teammates, you know, pick your kids up from school? Because uh, that's where it all starts. You know, teammates are your brothers, your sisters, because it just doesn't work without a good relationship. If anything resonated in this video to you, please reach out. We'd be honored to help and help you create your extraordinary real estate experience together.